G'day guys, in this video we'll look now at demand side fiscal policy, how it works and also why it's used. So with demand side policy we're looking to maintain full employment and price stability by taking action to influence aggregate demand. Supply side policy kind of ignored both of these assuming that the economy can take care of those on its own and it just looked purely at economic growth. But we'll have a look now at why proponents of demand side policy believe that these need to be pursued by government. So first thing in the rationale behind it is that shifts in aggregate demand cause inflationary and recessionary gaps. Now this is nothing new. When we looked at the aggregate supply and aggregate demand model, we saw that this was the case. You get a shift in aggregate demand, so short run equilibrium GDP moves away from potential GDP, and you get these gaps. Those in favour of supply side economics believed that these gaps would then close themselves just through the short run aggregate supply curve shifting, and so they didn't have to be worried about. But now we're going to look at this new concept, which is that if left alone, these gaps will take too long to close naturally because factor prices are sticky. This is something we haven't looked at so far, and this is the basis of what we call Keynesian economics. So Keynes 